I always knew I wanted to be an attorney. I just like helping people. Are you okay? Do you need any help? Thanks, Christopher. I've been in Vegas helping the little guy since I was a little guy. Are we any good at helping you win? No, we're great. Call us now for help with your injury case. We have an officer basically around the neck area. To These two retired Vegas cops now podcast hosts. You know, they don't have ID. They can't get into a hotel room. To, to get them the help they need, especially if someone even gets arrested. A lot of people don't know how the justice system works. You guys have going on is necessary, it's needed. Hey, it's David Kohlmeyer, the Problem Solver. Thanks so much for joining us today, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Again, the Problem Solvers are here today to help people with problems. As usual, I have my great co host here, Danny Miner. Thank you, Dave. Let's go. Uh, my beautiful co host, Beja Rivera. Thank you, Dave. Let's talk about it. And today we have attorney Kirill Mikhailov from Pacific West Injury Law. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me here. So we have this amazing personal injury attorney that's here that looks amazing and is an amazing attorney. He has better hair than me. I'm kind of jealous. Like, I'm kind of jealous. To out His hair is good. You know, your clothes are still so nice and pressed and spooky. Yes. Like, what's uh, the secret? I did not change before I came here. I just have to stay all day. You know, all the, day? Yes. Okay, we're going to have to this talk guy's after looking, this. He's looking sharp all day long. He's yeah. got tips. Yeah. He's got like a book, you know, how to look good all day long. <laughs> and, and not just about clothing, but about um, legal uh, services, right? That's right. <laughs> tell us a little bit about, so you, you work for personal injury law firm. Tell us a little bit about your background for the viewers. Um, tell us just, you know, people want to know about you. Definitely. Uh, so I've been in Las Vegas since 1999. I went to middle school here, went to high school here, graduated from Durango. As I say, if you go to high school here, if you go to college here, you are a hometown boy and, uh, you know, Vegas is my home. Uh, so graduated from UNLV and I went to law school in Miami. I came back in 2013 and been practicing law ever since then. Uh, you know, I've done some uh, stuff on the defense side. I've uh, done some really high-end business litigation and, uh, you know, try cases in front of judges, you know, bench trials, jury trials. I've argued in front of the Nevada Supreme Court, had some success up there. And uh, I joined uh, Pacific West Injury Law earlier this year. Uh, it's an amazing uh, personal injury firm. Uh, it was started by my longtime friend, uh, Chris Helmick. Uh, he's an excellent, excellent attorney. Uh, and that's, you know, that's kind of a 30,000 foot view of, uh, you know, who I am and uh, what I've been doing here professionally, Dave. What makes you at Pacific West Injury Law so different in regards, because there's so many different law firms in town. What's your take on it, you know, from your experience? You know, I, I remember when I was a baby lawyer, I was talking to one of the senior partners in my first firm and he told me, Carell, you know, one of the biggest complaints from clients, do you know what that is, Carell? And I had no idea. He said, it's communication, Carell. Every single client... I don't care if you're a business lawyer, a personal injury lawyer, they're always going to be upset that they never get the chance to talk to the lawyer. And that really resonated with me from the beginning, right? Because you see all these billboards around town, you know, call me, you know, I'm the best this, I'm the best that. But do they really, are they really going to talk to you? Are, are you really ever going to see them, right? Mm -hmm. And after you sign up with them, are you ever going to talk to them again, right? Mm -hmm. So. Chris has been at the forefront to make sure that, you know, we communicate with our clients. And it's so interesting when I joined him 
to see that we had the same mentality and approach. You know, Chris is just always, I don't care if it's after five o'clock, if it's nine o'clock at night, it's the weekend, we're always going to call our clients back. We're going to text them back. We're going to email them back. This is not one of those nine to five. Uh, I don't care. It's the weekend. I'll talk to you on Monday. We're always going to get you answers to your questions. And guess what? You know, if I'm in court, you know, Chris is going to answer the phone. If Chris is busy, I'm going to answer the phone. If we're busy, our team of we about have 16 people now, someone's going to get you an answer immediately. And if not within minutes, right? We are on top of that. Awesome. It's like Dave likes to say 25, eight. Yeah. 25, eight. I like that. No, that's, <laughs> that's what I think. Make a shirt for that. 25, 25 eight. eight. Yeah. And not just that, but I mean, Hey, uh, the case managers, they do a lot of work. Of course. Yeah. And you, you know, and you know, and a lot of, uh, clients from other firms, cause we actually have a lot of clients that come from other law firms. They fire their attorneys. They're so upset. They can never get to talk to somebody. They say, all I do is talk to, you know, case managers. Uh, you know, I never get to see my attorneys. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, case managers are a vital part of a law firm. You know, we can't do everything. We're a team, right? Mm -hmm. But listen, my clients have my personal cell phone number. You know, they text me, they call me. My case managers also communicate with them. My paralegals talk to them. We are all a team, right? Mm -hmm. But look, if you're going to be a client of ours, you're definitely going to talk to me. You're going to see me. And that's the same thing with Chris. You know, we'll talk to you on the weekend or after hours. We pride ourselves on that. It's a huge thing. Yeah, they're going through something, you know, when they've been in a car accident. Um, I mean, just being injured and not even being able to, like, return to their normal lifestyle and, you know, day to day activities that they want confirmation from the attorney that they're trusting. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, one of uh, Chris's slogans was, you know, at Pacific West injury, you know, you know, we're personal about personal injury. So, mm -hmm. you know, I always like, Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Too. I like that we, a lot. <laughs> we, we like to put ourselves in people's shoes. You know, we, yeah. we really ask you, what are you, how are you hurting? What's going on? We're always and talking being to you. Personable, no, yeah. Exactly. Cause look, it, our clients are our friends, you know, we like to treat them like family. And, uh, you know, I, we, we don't just say that we prove that, like I said, you know, we can talk to our clients, you can look at our reviews. Uh, you know, they rave about the fact that they can always talk to us, mm -hmm. and, you know, that can be said by other attorneys, right? They never see the attorney. You know, we make sure that we are always available. It's a lot, you know, it takes away from our families. You know, Chris has a personal life. I have a personal life and mm -hmm. it, it just the life of a personal injury attorney that actually wants to talk to his clients and our clients value that. That's that's why they send us their friends and family. That's why they come back to us. And that's what really differentiates us from the most attorneys. The other factor is that we actually litigate cases. We actually take them to trial. You know, we, we're not scared to file a lawsuit. You know, uh, if we have to go and tell the jury why they should award damages to our client, we're there to do that. You know, a lot of the attorneys that you see in town on billboards, uh, what you don't know about them is they never step foot in a courtroom, right? They're, so, they're Monty Hall, right? Let's make a deal. Exactly. And, right. You know, I, I can't tell you who they are, but, you know, other law firms send us their clients because they don't want to go to court and they know we will. Right. We'll, we'll file the lawsuit. You know, we'll represent you. You know, we, we, we have some serious, aggressive representation for our clients. And, you know, the defense firms, they know that. You know, they're like, okay, these guys are serious. Uh, we can take a case from a pre-litigation stage all the way to the Supreme Court if we have to. Mm -hmm. This is not like we're going to fold at a certain point. Oh, this is going to cost too much. It's going to be too much work. Well, listen, we went up against some of the best in the state, you know, and we are not scared of a good fight. And I feel like the defense guys, they know that. And that's what r is really differentiating us from the other Like firms. you said, you guys pride yourselves on that. So like, that's great. Exactly. There's a lot more accident cases in general that are taking place now more than ever. And I know that it's really important uh, to be properly insured. So when we come back, maybe I'm going to ask you a little bit about insurance and what people need in order to insure themselves and their families and their property, their cars, which is a big deal as well for many people. They can't afford to actually go out and go get a new car if their car is damaged. So we'll come back in a quick break and we'll get into that. Thank you. Injured? Call 602 Hurt. Car accident? Call 602 Hurt. Pacific West Injury Law, a firm that focuses on you. Our firm is dedicated to you and your recovery. No fee until we win. Millions recovered. Here when you need us.
welcome back to The Problem Solver today. Again, Danny Miner, Beja Rivera, my co-host today, speaking to attorney Kirill Mikhailov, uh, Pacific West Injury Law, talking about personal injury, car accidents, what's going on uh, locally here in Las Vegas, probably all around the United States. Everyone's driving crazy these days. Um, tell us a little bit in regards to insurance. You know, what's proper insurance? What do people need? A lot of people just don't realize it, you know, until they get into a car accident. Educate us a little bit about the insurance, uh, what people need. Of course. Uh, you know, what we see is uh, a lot of clients, they don't want to spend a lot of money on insurance. It's understandable. You know, gas is expensive. You know, inflation, it's, 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 very, it's very expensive to live these days, right? And so the last thing you want to do is you want, don't want to throw you know, extra money out the window. But when it comes to insurance, it's so important to protect yourself and your friends and your family, right? And how do you do that? It's by having appropriate coverage, right? Nevada only requires that you have a twenty-five, fifty thousand dollar policy. That's all. That's that's all that's required, right? So if you have this minimum policy and you get in an accident, and you don't have, for example, in regard to your car collision insurance, you know you may not get your car fixed. You know if the other insurance of the other driver is denying liability. You don't have a car now and you know now you're stuck without a car what are you going to do pay a little bit extra a couple dollars a month to have this collision insurance but you know aside from that the most important one is what i always tell my clients and nine out of ten of my clients don't even know what this is let alone have it is uninsured underinsured motorist coverage and, and and what is that you know a lot of people are like what is that well i have full coverage you know like what what is that do tell do tell yeah this is what this is uh it's an additional insurance that protects you if the other person that hits you doesn't have insurance or doesn't have enough insurance. So, you know, the whole, the other person doesn't have insurance is pretty easy to understand, but that's, and that's uninsured, right? You do not have insurance, the person that hits you, but what's underinsured? Here's what it is. Assume you three are driving in a car and you guys get hit by somebody that has this minimum required 2550 policy, then what? Assume you guys are horrifically injured, right? Paralyzed, you know, you lose the limb. The insurance of the other driver is going to just write you a check for 50,000 bucks, right? They're going to proportionate it out because that's all they mm -hmm. have to pay. Uh, well, what, how do you do? What do you do? How do you protect yourself? You know, whether it's your family members or this hypothetical, you purchase is what's called underinsured motorist coverage, right? And what that does is if you have bills or injuries in excess of the insurance that's by, uh, provided by the other driver, then your insurance kicks in and compensates you, right? That, that, that's, that's how you're actually protecting yourself and your family members. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that. I, I recently had a client, uh, he had a beautiful big truck. Uh, he did not really understand insurance. He had uh, $300,000, $500,000 in uh, uh, bodily injury uh, coverage. He comes to me, he was in a bad car accident. He says, Carrillo, I have this great insurance. You know, like, I think we're gonna be just fine. I look it up. Uh, he got hit by a person that had a 2550 policy and he doesn't have underinsured motorist coverage. He's really hurt. Guess what's going to happen? What does that look like? He's just going to get a $25,000 check and this guy's really hurt. And guess what? What would happen if he had his family, his kids and his wife in the car? That, I mean, that, that's oh, why. Yeah. And you know what? The thing about it is like, look, we don't, it's expensive to live out there. Uh, this insurance is actually not that much. You're not paying extra hundreds of dollars per month. It's just a little bit extra, but that's the actual protection that you're providing for yourself your friends and your family for the people that are in your car right? right and a lot of people don't know what that is and uh you know i'm kind of you know surprised right nice like i said nine out of ten people that come in my office don't even know what it is let alone have it so that's why we go on you know shows you know we talk about it on podcasts you know on the news we just urge the community to get it for themselves so they can protect themselves and their families by having this coverage and even with having a having an attorney and having that kind of policy um is that a case that you would take to litigation or not because of, I mean, just because of how low, you know, those limitations are? It's, no, we'll take it. We always take cases, uh, you know, where the other person is at fault and we see if we can help the, uh, our clients out regardless of the amount. You know, we have cases that are, you only have $25,000. We have millions of dollars at stake, right? Uh, yeah, I will note one thing. I didn't t say this about our firm before is uh, we have a guarantee at our firm is that we will never take more than our clients. So if we're dealing with a case where there's only a $25,000 policy and the medical bills are just through the roof, uh, you know, what does our firm do for our clients? Uh, once you get the settlement, you got to pay your doctors, you got to pay your attorneys, and then you got to get uh, the rest of the money. So after you pay your doctors, we look to see to make sure that we never take more than our clients. So we'll reduce, you know, our standard fee as much as needed to make sure that we never take more than our clients. But will you still go above and beyond as far as, you know? Absolutely. If it's necessary, because, uh, 
if, if it's easy and they just actually send the full check for $25,000, then we don't have to file suit. If they want to play hardball, that's what we do. I'm, okay. a, I'm a litigation trial attorney. You know, if I, I file suits every single day, okay. uh, almost every single day, you know, th this is something that we do every day. You uh, will fight. We will fight all the way as far as we have to go to the Supreme Court, you know, through trial, whatever it is that's necessary, we'll make sure we'll always represent our clients. That's good to know. Is there any of the, um, you know, even you talk, <clears throat> excuse me about injuries in general. Um, I know a lot of people they get into an accident with their car and stuff like that. They can't drive. How do, is the best way of taking care of the car situation or rental? Yeah, so a lot of people are like, oh, I can't go to work. Like, you know. It, so what, what, one of the first things that comes a financial constraint to the people. Of course, you know, there, there's two things at play when you get in a car accident. There's uh, bodily injury and there's property damage, right? You know, what are your physical injuries and, you know, what happened to your car? Is your car, is it fixable, you know, or is it going to be totaled, right? So one of the first things you have to do is you want to get, you want to make sure that the other insurance of the at-fault driver processes your claim and figures out are they going to actually fix your car right away or are they going to give you the check for totaling out your car right in the meantime they should also be paying for your car rental because you want to have a car to drive your family around to go to work uh, but you know this is a lot to process when you get in a car accident you're actually more worried about yourself your body and your family and that's why it's so important to actually hire a personal injury attorney to you know guide you through this process because you know if the insurance companies did what they're supposed to do we would not have a job and I know Pacific West Injury Lawyer yourself that you mentioned uh, on a break that you guys are very advanced in regards to getting video surveillance if there's a car accident to use uh, in general to help people, which is something brand new that I see that you guys are doing. So we're going to go to a quick commercial break. And when we come back, if you can explain how you're helping people in Clark County, that would be amazing. We'll be back in a quick minute. <laughs> Injured? Call 602 Hurt. Car accident? Call 602 Hurt. Pacific West Injury Law, a firm that focuses on you. Our firm is dedicated to you and your recovery. No fee until we win. Millions recovered. Here when you need us. Hey, it's David Colmeyer, The Problem Solver. Welcome back. Uh, again, we're here with attorney Kirill Mikhailov in regards to personal injury, accidents, insurance, getting some great information. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you guys seem very advanced. I mean, I see a bunch of information online, your website, that you guys are really advanced in regards to getting like video surveillance. And I think from Nevada Department of Transportation, they have all these different video cameras. When people get into accidents, I know as a police officer, you know, I wasn't able to get, you know, video. A lot of people would say, hey, Officer Kohlmeyer, you know, that video over there, basically, there's a camera there. You'll see he's at fault. And like, like can't you just turn the switch on and like look from your laptop? Like, no, we, we can't look that up. It's not recorded. So tell us a little bit about, about cameras, you know, locally. Are they recording? Are they not recording? And, and how you're using it to benefit people in Clark County? Thank you. Yes. Uh, so it's not just magic. Can we just turn the switch on? Uh, a lot of the cameras that you see um, at the intersections, uh, they're not always actually operating. Uh, we're, we know this because uh, our firm has an extensive access to all of these cameras. So a lot of the times when you have these accidents, one of the first things we do is uh, I'll pull out uh, a big iPad uh, during our intake. We'll look at the intersection from Google Maps. You know, you can actually place a person there. You can look around the intersection, see what's going on. And then we'll pinpoint the actual camera of where the incident occurred. Uh, then, you know, we have actual access to get footage from these cameras. And, you know, I'm, a lot of, I'm really surprised because a lot of attorneys around town um, are not really looking into that. And, I'm, you know, I, I have attorneys calling me all the time, like, hey, how are you getting this footage? Like, uh, that's something that our firm prides itself on. Uh, it really helps us out uh, to help our clients and not only to existing clients to prove their damages uh, and really help them out, but at the same time to uh, screen cases. Because, you know, a lot of folks that come in, you don't know if they're really telling the truth. I, I could see immediately, you know, if at the intersection's camera is working, how the incident happened. Sometimes the cameras don't catch the incident, but you know it's one of these additional things that you can do uh, by actually capturing the incident. 
you two may know, you know, as police officers arrive at the scene, uh, they have to prepare a traffic accident report to figure out how the incident happened. They have to go off the witness information. Exactly. You know, who do you, who are you believing? Which driver are you believing, right? If it's not a straight rear end accident, you know, it's, it's gotta be a lot of work that's at play. Uh, the cameras are really dispelling the he said, she said, right? Now you have concrete evidence how the incident happened. And now I know for personal injury, there's a two year statute of limitations, correct? Yeah. Is there um, a statute of limitations on um, how long the footage gets held or I mean? You know, it's interesting you mentioned that. Uh, it's, a, it's a great question. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, this footage, uh, it's not there forever, right? Uh, depending on which agency and how you get this footage, sometimes it's gone within a couple of days. You know, we have resources to actually get this footage sometimes uh, going back as far as 90 days. Sometimes, you know, we can give it even further back. But, you know, that's one of the most important things to do once you have an accident is to hire a person personal injury attorney, hire our firm so we can look into this for you. So, cause you know, unfortunately I have sometimes clients that wait months and they come to us and, you know, we asked them, it's why did you try late. to do this? Yeah. You know, so one of the biggest, you know, this is free advice here. Uh, make sure you call an attorney after you're involved in the accident so we can go to work for you because that footage may be gone and not just in an intersection, right? Same goes with businesses, right? I don't care if it's in a casino or just a beauty shop. Well, one would be concerned about, especially about the casino footage, because, you know, you know a the, lot of them, <laughs> they, it's been said that they get deleted, you know, right away. Of course, you know, I've seen typically sometimes it's, they only keep it for about two weeks, uh, you know, so that's so, so important to hire an attorney so we can send a letter of preservation out there to make sure that they save the content, does not get deleted, because uh, this information is not always up there forever, you know, on the cloud. Uh, you know, th and you know, we, as a firm, we deploy various resources to get that video, whether it's an intersection camera or whether it's a business camera. Uh, there's various ways of getting that. You know, it's interesting. I mean, for myself, being a cop for 17 years and working in, in law firms for the last um, seven years, I think that some people get very cocky sometimes. They think like, you know what, I know I have two years. Like, I'll wait to get a lawyer, like six months or a year from now. And I had someone recently, they fell like in a hole or something. And I said, like, when I found out about it, I said, I'm so sorry. Let me connect you to like a good attorney. And they're like, no, 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 we're okay. You know, we have time, whatever. And then now it's like almost two years. They're running out of time. It's not a great case. And then the statute of limitations was different because it was a California case and it was a city uh, street. So I guess it was like you had to like do a lawsuit like within 90 days. I mean, it depends what state, what city, I guess, what state law, right? Um, so everywhere is different, but you shouldn't wait. I feel like within 72 hours, you got to make a phone call basically to get a lawyer to represent you just so you're protected because you may not know the laws, especially like you're visiting someone back home in Pennsylvania and Nebraska the laws are different in every state. And so, especially if you're hurt, you need to get medical attention like right away. Exactly. It's so detrimental. One to feel to better and then also to document the situation because like a month from now, if something happens and then you have a back problem, then that you insurance company don't believe you. just let it linger on. Yeah, exactly. What's the time frame you feel that normally that, um, that you need to see a doctor right away just to make sure you have a checkup because I think it's up to two weeks, right? People can feel injuries, right? You know, soft tissue injury takes uh, a little while to set in. It could be a couple of days, uh, but the importance is you want to make sure you hire an attorney because you got to let the professional handle this for you. You know, the idea of hiring a personal injury attorney is they'll work for you on a contingency fee basis. So our firm will take your case on, and you know, you don't have to pay us anything. We just take a fee from the settlement or the judgment that we get. But the idea is you just take care of your body. You go see the doctors. You don't have to deal with the insurance companies. You let the professionals handle it. You know, I, I see some, some clients clients want to handle it by themselves and they come to us and there's lots of pitfalls along the road. So call the attorney, you know, within 24 hours or as soon as you can call our law firm. Uh, we'll take care of everything. So you can just worry about yourself, take care of yourself and go to the doctor. So we Getting can handle Getting back to recovery. We can, yeah. we can handle the insurance companies for so you. So you're like, the, you're their voice. Exactly. So real quickly, how does it work in regards because the cameras are at intersections when driving. What about like uh, at a, you get into an accident that's at a convenience location, at a Chevron, a gas station? What do you guys do at your firm in regards to getting video at these private locations, private property? So, you know, aside from us or myself or the staff going out there, you know, talking to the business owners, sometimes it's easy to get it. Sometimes they'll demand a subpoena through litigation. We'll also deploy, deploy uh, private investigators. I know they'll go out there, you know, they do their magic. They know, you know, some of them are retired police officers, so they know the magic horse to tell some of these folks. Uh, and that's, you know, this, that's just one of the many resources that our firm employs to get footage, whether it's an intersection camera or a business camera, you know, that's kind of why we've been so successful. And that's why we, you know, we urge the clients to call us because, uh, we're going to do a better job and uh, go really far, you know, go the extra mile for you. There well, you go. Pacific West going above and beyond. 
So I really appreciate you coming here today, explaining a little bit about yourself, personal injury, um, insurance, the video surveillance, and what you guys are doing in general. I think it's amazing stuff. I think people are very fortunate to get you and you know all the associates at your firm in general if you get into an accident in general. So as usual, the problem solver is here to help people. There's a QR code on your screen. If you want to scan the QR code, to have the problem solver progressive web app on your phone at any time. You can give us a call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or as we say, 25 hours a day and eight 25 days a week. Eight. So if you need to give us a call, 702-999-1111. 702-999-1111. And again, uh, Attorney Kirill Mikhailov. And I appreciate you coming on the show today. Thanks for having me, guys. Danny and Beja, thanks so much as co-hosting with your great questions Thank and uh, input as well. Thank you. Anyway, we'll see you next week, uh, Tuesday, every single Tuesday, 6 p.m. And then Channel 14, as you are in here, on your view. Thanks so much for joining us today. Be safe. Be careful driving. If you need an accident attorney, you know who to call. Have a good week.